Sometimes I forget how difficult it is to make a video while I'm walking around when there's so many people out walking around. I might like throw that clip in just now where I got interrupted by a dog trying to eat me alive. Don't worry though, the dog is like literally like six inches tall. So it was just my ankles it was scraping at. <sighs> All right, so we're gonna walk around the block literally and figuratively because that's what I do here. Let's go. This is Drew Chosen Process. Today is 5 25 2022, and I'm just weird like that, so I always add those numbers up and break them down. 5 plus 2 plus 5 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 is 18. 1 plus 8 is 9, and you know 369. So, of course, I'm going to reference that. That's just how it is. I gotta first give like a big time shout out to my neighbor, like, totally hooked me up with this Rocky Patel. 1990 i was literally walking out of the door to make this video and he's like yo drew my fellow taurus what's up so he comes over he's got like a bag full of these i, I want to say like stogies just as a reference but stogies would be more so a reference to like a cheaply made cigar these are certainly not cheaply made cigars uh, but there was only like three in the bag that he was like ah, hands off towards you can't have those and i respected that that's fine one was a cuban but uh but in that bag i saw this rocky patel so i decided to snatch it up i was like are you sure you're okay with me taking this one and he was like yes that's fine you can have it my man so i gladly took it said thank you and uh and and went about my way uh he did gas me up a little bit as a as a fellow tourist a good upstanding tours would definitely do for another tourist um but uh but yeah so big shout out man i appreciate you um this hat you didn't see this hat in my last video uh with all of my hats because this hat just came in today and it was a perfect excuse for me to rock this hat today because it just came in the mail and i didn't feel like styling my hair i just got home showered and uh and i'm just kind of in chill mode right now so uh, it was a good excuse to rock that. Um, plus, my, I mean, my eyes, like, anyway. So my gimbal broke. Yeah. Uh, there's probably another reason why I'm making a video today. Every Tuesday for the last, I don't know how long, it seems like I've been making my TikTok Tuesday videos where I've been either dancing at the bowling alley, doing something, whatever, just having a fun day living my best life and my gimbal broke yesterday and it kind of killed my mood while i was bowling um so i'm gonna look for another gimbal but but for now i'm using my old school selfie stick which i mean it works but i really like the gimbal stabilization is nice maybe it's time to upgrade to like a three axis because i had a two axis and whatever and somebody just yelled at me but i didn't hear what he said i wish i would have heard what he said i was hoping he was trolling me and it would have been something like really good but i don't know maybe it wasn't either way i didn't hear it because i was talking so uh let's see gimbal hat cigar oh the actual reason why i wanted to make this video I feel bad saying cancerous, right? But I mean, I think you understand what I'm saying when I say cancerous individuals. Those that just like drain your energy. If you've ever worked with somebody that just kills the vibe, you know, like if you ever had that job where like everything was cool, you know, like the people you work with were cool, the environment was cool, like everything was great. And then there was just that one mf -er out there that just killed the vibe. What do you do? You know, I think that's probably the two toughest situations is, is when it's at work and when it's at home, like family members and work, because it's, it's harder to escape those types of environments. I talk a lot about, you know, who you surround yourself with is who you become, you know, like the five closest people around you, that's who you become. So I'm big on that. And although this individual, uh, I'm not going to get into specifics, but this individual uh, he kills the vibe. Um, and although I don't necessarily like spend a lot of time with him, I mean, I try to avoid him like the plague. It is, it's just frustrating to watch that, you know? And, uh, and I, I mean, I'm a big believer that like, you know, 
things tend to work themselves out and and god will take care of it i'll i'll leave that off my shoulders the things that i can control i worry about the things that i can't control you know it's off to the side and uh and i think that's like one thing that i have to constantly remind myself of you know is is the advice that i give out sometimes is a bit hypocritical but maybe not so much i mean i try to do it is to literally take like a sheet of paper and on one side of that sheet of paper you write down the things that bother you that are inside of your control the things that you actually can do something about and then on the other side of the paper you write down the things that are outside of your control and on that side of the paper that that is outside of your control like you just pray about that right like you just put that over to god and say yo like i can't do anything about this so i'm not going to worry about it that's not always easy you know especially when you're talking about like your job you know your livelihood you know things that you've worked really hard to accomplish and and how let's be real you know the world we live in i mean it could be taken away in a flash you know so so i just try to put that over to that side of the paper and say you know what there's nothing i can do about this so i'm just going to continue to move forward and have that ridiculous belief the ridiculous belief that even if something bad did happen that it was going to take me somewhere better there's so many examples of that in my life that i look at especially right now where i'm like man you know what i thought i really wanted what i thought i really wanted to go after like that was it it's not even close to what i really deserve and what i'm actually going to get in the end if i just stop being so stubborn, you know, towards life. And just understand that, you know what? Sometimes what I want and what I don't get, it's the best thing that happens to me. You know, sometimes like the, the greatest gift is the one we didn't receive, you know? Because there was something way better on the other side. We just gotta be patient, you know? And sometimes that patience gets tested, but ultimately staying patient staying on course and realizing that that if i just yeah trust the process that everything's gonna work out so yeah that's really uh what i was gonna get into and i don't really have any advice for that situation you know when you're dealing with somebody like that other than you know if it's outside of my control there's nothing i can do about it that I'm gonna do the best that I can do, make sure that at the end of the day, I'm good with who I am and what I'm trying to accomplish and then just keep moving forward. You know what I'm saying? So that's about all I got. I'm, I don't know, I might enjoy this stogie tonight, stogie. I, I always call them stogies, you know what I mean? But this is not a stogie, like this is a good cigar. So uh, that's about all I got for y'all. Um, I really do appreciate the ones out there that that are willing to listen to me babble like this and and walk around the block figuratively and literally um it really is much appreciated um because this is just sometimes me talking to myself but uh but i appreciate anyone that's willing to actually take the time to listen so until next time i'm gonna keep grinding i'm gonna keep moving forward i will always trust the process and i will talk to y'all later I am out. Peace.